We'll start off with major news regarding G-Drug, who has reportedly been booked on drug-related charges. Incheon Police stated that investigation was not related to the recent case of Lee sung Kyun. YG also did not comment as they stated the artist is not with them anymore after his exclusive contract ran out early in the year. More info will follow as details are released in the future. Speaking of Lee sung Kyun, the actor has been embroiled in a major investigation by the same police agency into the reported drug use by multiple people, including Lee sung Kyun. While details are scarce, the police stated that an actor named in the report as L had spent over 200,000 US dollars on drugs, including marijuana. Speculation is ripe, so we'll refrain from pointing fingers until more definitive information is revealed. Now back to YG, and Blackpink's Jisoo has broken up with her boyfriend actor An Bo Hyun. YG also confirmed this news, which ends a relationship that was short even for the entertainment world. Another girl group who have had their problems in recent times are 50-50, with agency Attract now terminating the exclusive contracts of three of the members, Aran, Sena and Seo with Kina reportedly rejoining the agency last week after apologising to the CEO and withdrawing her lawsuit against the agency. Following this, Attractive also stated they will join JTBC in launching a girl group audition show in the near future, with the company clearly trying to move on from this saga. One person who is also moving on is actress and variety star John Somin, who is leaving the much-loved show Running Man. The agency and SBS confirmed that she will be shooting a final show on October 30th, with SBS stating they will continue with six members for the near future and will not rush to cast another member. She will no doubt be a massive loss, but we look forward to seeing her projects in the near future. And finally, we have former Luna member Chu, who has had a very successful release of her first mini album, How. The album recently topped the worldwide iTunes charts for several days, and she has announced a US tour spanning several US cities for the end of the year. This is a definite slap to the face of former agency Blockberry Creative who have undoubtedly stunted the careers of many of the Luna members. Congrats to you, and as always, thanks for watching.